After a year of work and a billion dollar investment, the iconic Transamerica Pyramid is welcoming back San Franciscans to its public spaces. Now, back in 2020, a luxury real estate development firm bought the building and they started renovations. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn had a chance to check out the new look. Suzanne. And Larry, it was great to see. You now, for decades, the Transamerica Pyramid has stood out in San Francisco's skyline because of its distinct design. And now, the public will be able to see parts of the building in a way like never before. The Transamerica Pyramid. The icon of San Francisco. It pierces through the skyline, and it's as famous as the cable cars of the Golden Gate Bridge. John Krizak can't believe that transformation. He says it's even better than before. A totally mind-blowing experience. It's just so awesomely wonderful. Krizak was the PR manager for the iconic building from 1968 to 1977. This is a very special place. The history of this site is so special. That history on display on a table in this conference room on the 27th floor. Back in the late 60s, early 70s, it really was the center point of protest in the city. Fast forward to 2024. The big moment has come for the Transamerica Building's grand reopening. It's now part of the Transamerica Pyramid Center, a historic block that includes the pyramid plus two adjacent buildings. There's also the Transamerica Redwood Park, a renovated grand lobby, and conference spaces. On the 27th floor is the new Sky Lounge. Just look at how beautiful everything is. We managed to remaster the building while restoring and respecting the past. Michael Chaveau is a co-owner. He wants the public to enjoy the modern vibe, but also continue to celebrate the history. Today is the day that we open this place to the public for the people to come, to enjoy the art shows, the restaurants, the activities, or just come and have lunch at the Redwood Park. The park and the lobby of the pyramid will be open to the public. The ground floor will feature cafes, a bookstore, and a flower shop. People will see today that, that downtown is not just about work. It's about work, it's about play, and it's about just coming and re relaxing and enjoying. And we want people to come here. This is in the heart of downtown San Francisco. And tonight at 8.30, wherever you are in the city, keep a close eye out on the light show on the east side of the Transamerica Pyramid Building. Then starting Sunday, the Redwood Park will be open from dawn until dusk. Again, both the lobby and the park will be open to everyone to visit. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.